Thank you, Mr. Holopan. It's a pleasure to serve under your chairship. I also congratulate the Honourable Member for Western Berkshire for securing this hugely important debate. Jagtar Singh Johal, a British citizen, a Sikh human rights advocate from Dumbartshire, has sought to use his platform to raise awareness of historic abuses carried out against the Sikh population. In 2017, he travelled to India to get married. And yet, three weeks after the ceremony, plainclothes police officers abducted him from the street. According to the human rights organisation Reprie, the police brutally tortured Jagtar with electricity and brought petrol into his cell with the threat to burn him alive. To make the pain stop, he signed blank pieces of paper and recorded video st statements confessing to the charges against him, some of which carried the death penalty. Jagtar's imprisonment clearly amounts to arbitrary detention under international law. He has now been detained for more than three years without trial. When a British national is arbitrarily detained, tortured, and faces a potential death sentence, all on the basis of trumped up political charges, the British government must make clear this is unacceptable. Despite it being government policy to lobby for the release of arbitrarily detained UK nationals overseas, the Foreign Secretary has yet to do so for Jagtar. Will the minister explain why the government failed to implement its policy to seek the release of arbitrarily detained British citizens, as in Jagtar's case. This is even more urgent after mass outbreaks of COVID-19 in the prison in which Jagtar is detained, with the World Health Organization and the Office of the High Commissioner on Human Rights calling on states to protect vulnerable prisoners during the pandemic and immediately release those who have been arbitrarily detained and secure non-custodial alternatives to detention. In April, I wrote to the Prime Minister urging him to release, to raise Jagtar's case during a meeting with, with his counterpart, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Will the Minister confirm whether the government raised Jagtar's arbitrary detention with the Indian authorities, either at this meeting or at any other time? Whilst the UK government is anxious to improve relations relations with India so that it can secure a post-Brexit trade deal. The UK-India relationship, indeed all our, all our diplomatic efforts, must be deeper than just trade. It should be based on the promotion of democracy, human rights and upholding international law. The government must do all it can to ensure Jagtar's safety and his release. Thank you, Mr. Holleborn. Hol